January 1, 2024, Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali, President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, assumed chairmanship of the Caribbean community, CARICOM. Here are some highlights of his tenure. In recent events, President Ali expressed deep concern and continued anxiety over the passage of Hurricane Beryl through the Caribbean region. The Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, CDEMA, mobilized and coordinated assistance and disaster relief even as the storm was still passing through the Windward Islands. Guyana was quick to respond and on the 2nd of July, the first shipment of relief aid was sent to the Caribbean nations affected by Hurricane Beryl. In February, President Ali announced a tripartite agreement between Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados to launch an inter-regional ferry service. This ferry service is intended to be part of the logistics solution needed to achieve greater food security as the community works at reducing food imports by 25% by the year 2025. It is important for us to understand the role logistics and transport systems and investment will play in the building out of our economy, but more importantly, in the integration, the full and complete integration of our economy with CARICOM, South America, DR, and further afield. This is the priority, ensuring the economy is fully integrated within our region. From February 25 to 28, Guyana hosted the 48th regular meeting of the Conference of CARICOM Heads of Government. President Ali stressed the importance of accountability to the people of the region and focused on initiatives in areas of food security, climate change, and regional digitalization. During a press conference at the close of the 46th regular meeting of the Heads of Government, President Ali announced CARICOM's call for an immediate and unconditional ceasefire in Gaza. The Caribbean community, CARICOM, remains deeply distressed by the ongoing violence and deterioration, deteriorating situation in Gaza, which has resulted in a tragic loss of civilian lives, including the deaths of women and children on an unprecedented scale and widespread displacement and suffering. Haiti's escalating gang wars erupted once again in February. This time, gangs attacked police officers in Port-au-Prince, killing four. Prime Minister Ariel Henry was seeking international support abroad at the time, and the gangs barred his return. President Ali acted quickly, and on March 8, he updated CARICOM states on efforts underway to restore security, stability, and normalcy to the people of Haiti. From our reports, the situation on the ground remains dire and is of serious concern to us. At the same time, we have taken the decision as a community to write the heads of state and heads of government of the key countries with whom Haiti is engaged as partners, inviting them to meet with our heads in CARICOM in Kingston, Jamaica on Monday the 11th of March to urgently address this state of affairs and all other matters critical to the stabilization of security and the provision of urgent humanitarian aid to the people of Haiti. Addressing the CARICOM Regional Cricket Conference, President Ali announced that his government is working with the West Indies Cricket Board, the International Cricket Council, and the Caribbean Premier League to develop a new franchise for the Caribbean and position the region to benefit from the global market. Cricket is linked directly to our economies, linked to our tourism product, and we have to honestly analyze whether we have redefined our brand to incorporate all the factors that cricket is linked to in this region. At the 31st Afri Exim Bank annual meeting and the third Afri Caribbean Trade and Investment Forum, President Ali encouraged the Caribbean and African states to begin trusting each other. Every single country in this region complained about the payment settlement system. We have an opportunity now that you have tested with a payment settlement system. And that is why as chair of CARICOM, I've asked the chair of the CSME, uh, Prime Minister Mahdi, and she has agreed to convene a meeting with ministers of finance and governors next week so that we can take to the next 
heads of government, Lieutenant Caricom, a proposal where we can use your system to, to implement a regional system for our Caribbean settlement. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. We need to trust each other. We need to trust our system. We need to trust our great power. President Ali was awarded Caribbean Global Leader for 2024, a testimony to his exceptional dedication to his nation and CARICOM states. At the next CARICOM meeting, President Ali will hand over chairmanship of CARICOM to the Honorable Dickon Mitchell, Prime Minister of Grenada.